Hey guys, it's Joe Vines from The Automator. And the other day, someone, it's kind of funny, someone wrote me to say they were having a problem with one of my scripts. And then I, when I said, um, what, you know, they said your, your, um, your voice recognition script. I'm like, I don't have a voice recognition script. So, uh, anyway, they realized it was someone else. And, uh, I, I thought, you know, I've, I've played with it before, but I wanted to, to revisit it. So let me show you, um, what I found a, a, a decent one here on the forum. Now, the initial one that I borrowed from was Scripter 2016. Um, here's the link to it, uh, which I'll try to remember to put in the... Uh, well, we'll have the code, right? I'll make it available. So uh, you'll have the whole thing. Um, but I'm, I'm going to talk through some of the tweaks that I made. First off, you do have to have the Microsoft SAPI installed. Um, and then uh, uh, only some versions um, of Windows. I think it starts with... Uh, XP, maybe, but maybe not. Maybe XP didn't have it. I can't remember. But 7, 8, and 10, I believe, have it. Uh, should have it installed. If not, you have to install it, but it is available. Um, and then you might have to train the voice, you know, recognition a little bit so it rec Windows recognizes your voice depending on your uh, your accent. Uh, think about the Star Trek movie when Chekhov, I think, was trying to jump to light speed or something. Um, he, uh, he couldn't get it to uh, engage the, the computer to understand him. Uh, so, no, honestly, like, you know, I didn't actually go through and fully understand everything in this script. But, um, so this first part, it's accessing some com object, right, for the voice recognition. Uh, he also has in it the speaking, and, and so that was one of some of the things I disabled was it was speaking everything that I heard, which was just really annoying. It's good for an example, but I didn't care, you know, that's not the point. Why would I have it tell me back what I said? Uh, but, um, so I'm not going to go into this. This is just kind of basically setting up. Now, in his example, he had you individually putting each word and then showed an example of jumping to that word in a label. Um, unfortunately, when you would have multiple words, that would have a space in it, right? The space in between the words. And of course, labels can't have spaces. And I tried using an underscore and it didn't work. So I thought, you know what? I, I didn't like the approach anyway because he had like, you know, three rows. So if you had 20 things of text, you'd have 20 rows. And so what I did was I shoved it into an object. So here's the key. I made the key that the term I wanted. And then the um, the value for each one is going to be the label you want to jump to, right? So you'll see why later that that's easy. Um, and, and we set it up here once and it's done and you get to reuse it later. That's why I made it global because in the response on recognition, it's uh, that's a function. So it wouldn't have access to this. So we had to make this global so it's available there. Um, and then it's going to, it's going to shove each of these things into the object and basically watch for it in here. He was using, what was he using? I think he's had it speak to say his voice recognition is active or something, uh, which was really annoying to me. So I just have it do a splash screen, you know, showing it started. And then if it failed, here's what he had for the, uh, the failed, if you want to uncomment it and move it down. Um, but, uh, here's the recognition. And again, so he actually had it doing a bit more. Um, so I, I got rid of this. This is the part here. If you want it to speak. To say it, you can just uncomment that. I'm going to leave that in there because it is a handy reference, but uh, and it's kind of cool. I just didn't want to have it in here in mine. Um, and then what we do is we say, hey, if the response, so this right here is grabbing the text, you know, what was heard and shoves it into this variable. And then I just said, hey, look in this object. If that's a key to that object, then go sub to, and when you put these two together, of course, it returns the value, right? So, which is going to be our label, which is going to jump to it. So um, let's do a couple examples here. Let me go ahead and launch it. So launch it here. Okay, so that was that was fast. Usually it takes about a second and a half or so uh, to come up here. So now if I say like, uh, uh, what is it? Um, where are my words here? Turn volume up. So notice here, it just turned my volume up. Now it's at 20, turn volume up. 22, turn volume up. 24, turn volume down. Turn volume down. 22, turn volume down. 20. Uh, now these, I have a, oh, I can't say it. How ironic. Um, well, I can, but it'll happen, but you guys won't see it. That's the crazy part. Uh, but here is where I tell it to do this, if you want to look at it. So I tell it to turn my screen off, not in those words. Um, and notice here again, we have, you know, spaces in the words, but my labels where I'm jumping to doesn't have them. Now, if you look down here, uh, this is my command for, for doing that, right? This will send, um, uh, basically it kills the power to your monitors. So that's for off and this one will turn them back on. Um, here, let's say, uh, uh, what did, I forget what words I have. Um, is it launch the automator? 
there we go. So it launched, launched it with my default browser, but I could have told it, of course, in the label to, you know, to do a certain thing. Um, of course, you could have it. Well, let's, let's, so let's add something, right? So let's, uh, oh, and let's, let me, actually, before we do that, let's, uh, let me put this on here. I'm going to relaunch it. Now I'll say launch the automator. Oop, maybe too early. Launch the automator. You said launch the automator. You said launch the automator. I heard you. That's interesting. Somehow it, it, it appears to have run twice. I don't understand that. That did happen early. Oh, you know what? No, there's one instance. I don't know. Um, I did notice, even though I, I built in a hotkey and control escape to kill it, and uh, it takes a long time to close, and I, I'm not quite clear. And maybe right there for one point, it was running in multiple instances, and that's why it ran twice. I don't know. But let me get rid of the uh, the saying of what it is, because that's just annoying to me. Now, let's add something. Let's just launch the notepad. So I'm going to come in here. Um, I'm going to put a comma here. We're going to work on the left. So run notepad. And we put in a colon because we're working on the object. So that's the key. Now the value is we're going to put up one word. Run notepad. And of course, this can be whatever. This part can be whatever you want, right? That's the beauty of it. So, oops. Make sure. Copy. Um, and of course, this can be basically anywhere too. So, so notice here, LTA, that is for launch the automator. Oh, it's not. Is it right? Launch the automator. You said launch the automator. I didn't relaunch it. You said launch the automator. I heard you. Uh, and now, let me hit Control Escape. So I hit Control Escape. Let's see how long that takes. There it goes. Finally closed. Um, but let's uh, run Notepad. Return. So I'm going to kick it off. Now wait for this to initialize. That seemed instantaneous almost. Um, and run notepad. Run notepad. There it goes. So it's not perfect, but I thought it was a pretty cool script. You might want to, you know, have some fun with it. Uh, you know, it, it's, uh, I, I think that's just, it's, it's, it's not, uh, you know, as good as a, an echo or something, but, um, kind of a cool way to interact with your computer. If you're doing something, you might want to be able to say something and especially just turning down the volume, turn down volume. Turn volume down. Of course, you have to remember what the words are. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. I'll make this script available. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and sign up for my newsletter if you like. Cheers.